Hey everybody, my name is Eternal Beta and welcome to another edition of The First 20, where I play the first 20 minutes of a game to help you decide if it's worth your time and money. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Elliot Quest from Ansmoo's Games. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm probably butchering it, but uh, it's a game that's going to be uh, coming out on November 11th on Steam and Ouya. I do not know what the price is going to be. Full disclosure, a pre-release copy was provided by the developer for the purposes of making this video. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get in here. This is a uh, an action adventure inspired by The Legend of Zelda 2. So I'm, I'm looking forward to taking a look at this. So the 20 minutes begins right now. Oh man, no matter how many times I die, it never gets any easier. Whoa, okay. That's an interesting concept. Okay, right. Uh, find the Guardian and the Satyr's Curse. Let's keep things simple now. Okay. okay. Can I move? I can't. Okay, I should note that I'm playing this with an Xbox 360 controller. You can play it with a keyboard uh, as well. Uh, it uses the... Actually, the D-pad instead of the analog sticks. I should also no note, I should apologize if uh, I sound a little... Oop, there's music. I should apologize if I sound a little, uh, my voice sounds a little weird, uh, I'm fighting off a little bit of a cold. Looks like we can go either way here. Oh, we can jump on top of these for some movement. Uh, so, obviously very pixel, uh, based. Feels pretty good, uh, the jump's very, very floaty, but you do have some control over it. There does seem to be some momentum to the jump as well, which is... That's good to see, but like I said, very, very floaty. So, jumping with the A button. I would assume attack is the... Oh, yes. X button. Looks like your primary method of attack is the bow. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, what's that? Something shiny. Can I get up there? I cannot... I don't even know what that is. But I can't get up there right now. <laughs> Something tells me I will have a, uh, a bigger jump at some point. I'm going to assume this is probably a save point. Uh, menu. Oh, menu's actually on the B button by default for some reason. Oh, this is very, very Legend of Zelda. You can see the map down there. Uh... Okay, status. Looks like we have a, uh... Some type of good evil system here. Uh... Stats, key items. Okay, so let's get on with the game. I'm gonna go to the right as you want to do in this in these type of games. Okay. So we get in here, have some type of meter in the lower left. Let's fill, okay, I'm gonna assume that that is experience. It's got some simple platforming here. Very, very floaty on the jump. Can't say that I like it. Ooh, critical shot. Okay, those normally take two. What, what are you? What are you? Very simplistic graphics, but I, I'm I'm actually kind of digging it. I know a lot of people are kind of burnt out on the whole pixel art thing, but uh, you know, for a simple game, I think I'm kind of liking it. At least your movement is responsive. You do, it does seem like you have a tiny bit of momentum. I I don't know what that what's up with that guy. I obviously can't get to him yet, so let's just continue on. Shoot this pot! Whoa! Well, that's a very very Mario two type enemy. As well as that water, very reminiscent of Mario 2. Head up here. Oh, treasure chest. How do I open this? Not up. Okay, so you open it with attack. Is there fall damage? There is not. Oh boy. Okay. Is there anything back over here? No. Oh! Okay, so there's destructible environment. That's good to know. Why they would choose to put that there, I'm not sure, but let's continue on. Okay, this guy I haven't seen yet. Whoa, okay, he splits into two. So, a lot of pallet swapped enemies so far. But if the Guardian doesn't help me, what am I going to do? Bit of an inner monologue here. It's kind of interesting that the main character acknowledges that they died. Uh, not sure how to handle that. I hope that can play into the story in some way. Okay, just gained a heart there, but I haven't taken any damage yet. Can you do down jump? You can't. Okay. So there's no, you know, down jump through the floor here. 
Okay, so now this would be a good place to introduce the breakable terrain. Looks like we're heading into a cave here. Aha! Some type of scroll. Let's see what we got here. And of course, you Zelda it over your head. Uh, what was that? And we picked it up off of uh, some type of altar too. It's the, the largest altar ever known to man. Uh, let's see if we can take a look at what in the heck. Whoa! Okay, that was a map. So now we know that was a map. So we can see just how large this area is. And it doesn't look like we can go this way anymore. Never mind, there's a secret. But it's just a bunch of gold. Not really sure that was worth it. Okay, it just kind of reveals itself. Does that mean I'm just going to have to run into every wall just to make sure it's not a, fa a false one? Oh, okay. Settings menu. Looks like all we have is sounds and music. Uh, okay. Yeah, don't want to exit the game. I'll have to break these again. And the enemies do respawn. So it looks like maybe... Oh, did I go up a level? No. Maybe that isn't my experience in the lower left? Oh! Oh boy. Come here. There we go. Hey, maybe that isn't my experience because... It seems to have reset. Not sure. But I believe we have to head down here. I keep hitting that for the menu. Yes, we do have to head down. Okay. Can't. Oh, can you or can you not? Okay, you can. Jump off the ladders. Should probably finish my sentences there. Can't jump down here. Nope. It's being attacked by the slowest moving bat in the world. Okay, that guy takes four shots. So far this is kind of charming, uh, but nothing special, nothing out of the ordinary. I said everything just kind of works the way you would expect it to. That's some type of magic pot. I'm sure I can get back to that somehow. Oh, there's a, uh, a heart. Shoot through here. Your rate of fire is fairly slow, and you can't just hold down the button either. I wonder if that's going to be an upgrade at some point. Oh my god, this bat moves slow. Wow. Secret? I, d I don't know how I knew there was going to be a secret there, but maybe I've just played way too many of these games. I said, I think I'm just going to have to start running into every single wall. Can I get past this? I cannot. So there's going to be some type of item that can get past that later on. Yeah, because there's a whole bunch of more rooms over there. Uh, there we go. So same, the menu button that opens also closes. Come here. Oh, don't be afraid of what you can't see, Elliot. That's what you always said. So, earlier the text mentioned Kara, now we're mentioning Elliot, so I'm going to assume that Elliot is the main character because it's called Elliot Quest. Oh, but you're gone, it's just me now. Oh, okay, I got it. Okay, yes, these are save points. So we can't get to that other area just yet. Um, so, I have a feeling I'm in for a boss fight here. So let's see what's going on. King Slime! Somehow I think this is going to be a relatively easy boss fight. Unless they pull out some type of... Okay, those are two hit kills. Probably shouldn't stand underneath it. Come on, looks like there's an HP upgrade waiting for me. Okay, that was a pushover. Not great boss design, but eh. It did its job. 
Whoa. Wait, what? Whoa, what's going on here? Okay. That was weird. Yes, that was an HP upgrade. That was a little strange. Kind of interested to see where that goes. Another save point. Uh, almost leveled up. Oh man, that frog can hit me. Dangerous frogs. That thing's got a hell of a jump on it, doesn't it? And the slowest moving bat in the world. I, I'm still trying to figure out what that meter is in the, uh, in the lower left. Okay, a little platforming here. Oh, man. I'm, I'm doing terrible here. Obviously can't get through that yet. It looks like there's still there's different kinds of walls, it looks like. It's the regular, like, cheap stone I can shoot through. The little green stuff from before I couldn't. Okay, a little platforming section here. Die frog. Okay, so these wooden walls I can shoot through. I can't shoot through the mossy, viney stuff or the rocks just yet. Give me back some of that. Is there more over here, or is this where I came from? This is where I came from, but I can get up here to get this treasure chest. From what it seems so far... Oh, I think I messed up here. I don't think I can get up here now. I can't. Interesting. Okay, so I messed up. And I had to leave some of those boxes alive so that I could actually get up here. Interesting. I wonder if I go off the screen and come back if uh, they will return. I'm going to guess because the enemies respawn that it probably will. So come up here and come back down. All the enemies respawned. Will, ooh, will the boxes respawn? They will. Okay. So I think I probably have to leave that... Probably have to leave... Oh! And I get knocked down again. That's a little frustrating, but at least there's no fall damage. I have to deal with these frogs again. Okay, see now, yeah, now I can get up here. I can shoot the chest from distance to open it. That's kind of interesting. I wonder if that's going to play into the mechanics of the game at all. Now I can destroy this. I have to watch my health here. I'm at half health. Oh, wasn't watching where I was going there. The movements do feel responsive, even though, the, like I said, the jump's a little floaty. Uh, be careful here. Good thing that bat is so slow. Level up. Okay, so we're just going to show us our skills now. Uh, so I don't know if we... Uh, I'm assuming we pick one of the ones that hasn't yet been filled in. So, increase shooting range, MP regen... Uh, we don't have any spells yet, so that doesn't really do much. Improve shooting rate. Ah, improve shooting rate. Uh, take 15%, take half damage 15% of the time. Or increases criticals. I'm going to go with improve shooting rate. Oh, we cannot. Okay, so we have to do this. So, range. Magic orbs give double MP. Oh, that'll be definitely worthwhile once we actually can do some magic damage. Improved shooting rate. Hearts might give double health. That seems interesting. Uh, increase. I'm going to go with improved shooting rate. So. Oh yes, we can shoot faster now. Still cannot shoot by holding down the, uh, the button. Looks like we have several different routes here. Take the top one. Wait for this bat. Oh man, these bats are so slow. Doesn't look like there's anything else over here. I don't think. Well, maybe there is. 
There is indeed. I guess I should be using my map more. Uh, looks like there's one screen over here. This doesn't look like fun. I don't want to fall into those spikes. Okay, this platform's not going to dump me off or anything, is it? No. And what are you? Oh, it's a crystal. Okay, so it looks like those are collectibles. Good to know. There are some form of collectible in the game. Watch these spikes, because I don't exactly want to die in the first 20 minutes here. Looks like you probably can, because these enemies just infinitely respawn, I could probably sit here and just farm them for experience. But, that's not all that entertaining, so we're just going to move on. Now, I know there is a world map in this game, so I would, pro I would like to try and get to that. There's some way of getting up here. I don't know how. You can't jump on the pots, can you? Oh, the pots don't respawn. Interesting. But the enemies do. There's got to be some way of getting up there. Oh man, that guy was dispensing frogs. He had a pot of frogs. What is this? What are you? You can die. What, what is this guy? Uh, I'm not sure what what that did. Um, hello? Did that change something? Like back here? No, I'm not sure what that did. I don't think it. I didn't take any damage. Interesting. You can go up. And I want to. What are you? Okay. We're just going to move on for now. Good shot on the frog there. I kind of want to just get on with this, so that bat actually dodged. Can I get up here? I can. I'm not going to worry about hitting uh, all of the enemies all of the time because I kind of want to move on here. There's a slime that's going to drop on me right here. I want to try to at least show the world map. We're a couple screens away from that, so let's just kind of truck through here. Uh, oh, hello. He's complaining about uh, slow bats, so I get fast owls. Good to see that there's a decent amount of different types of enemies, even this early in the game. Oh, I'm going to die here if I'm not careful. I'm trying to run through too fast now. Okay, there is a save point right here, though. So I, I can go down there, but I'm going to, like I said, I want to try and show up the, the world map. I want to see it for myself. Oh, what do we have here? Mysterious black orb. Mysterious black orb, a.k.a. a bomb, which I set off without realizing what I was doing. All right, then. Uh, is this the end of where I can go on this direction? It looks like it, so it looks like we're going to have to go back. And then head down. Okay, frog guy, you can get annoying. So we're going to head down here now. Oh, what are the... Hello. You seem like you could be probably a pain. Oh, that's a chain meter. 
I wonder if I get more experience based on the chain that I I have. Hold on. Let me check these for secrets. Okay. This is feeling pretty good so far. Oh, there we go. I knew there was probably going to be a secret somewhere, somewhere here. If I get 100 coins, do I get an extra life or something? I don't think so, because this is just a save point game. Don't know what I'm using the coins for just yet. This area totally reminds me of Mario 2. That water, particularly. Okay, let's... Are we on the last screen? One of the last screens. You can go to the left as well. Let's just try and run through here. Oh, this is going to be a pain. What's that shiny thing up there, I wonder? So the wind comes and goes. Doesn't seem to affect you if you stand still. But only if you try and run. Of course they would put spikes in this area. Let's just try and get out here. And with that, get out of that area. Oh, a little bit of story exposition here. Okay, I have no control at this point. Elliot is obviously a very sick person. Oh, skip cutscene. You know what? I'm going to skip this. Just to not ruin the story too much. Skip this one, too. Okay, here we go. Here's the world map. I just wanted to get to this because our 20 minutes are now up. So, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you, you enjoyed uh, this first 20 minutes of Elliot Quest. Uh, like I said, it's going to be coming out on Steam and Ouya. I believe those are the two platforms on November 11th. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, spread the word. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.